what are the 10 skills that are needed to, for you to become a good management consultant. Hi, if you're new to my channel, then I have more than 10 years of management consulting strategy and public policy experience. And on my channel, I talk about all things management consulting, all things MBA and all things skills and travel in your 20s and early 30s. So feel free to hit on the subscribe and the notification button so that you are personally notified whenever I'm giving out free content on my YouTube channel. video because a lot of you in sporadically in multiple of my videos have asked me Shatakshi what are the good qualities and skills possessed by a management consultant and I really got a chance in this particular video to reflect upon all the interesting case studies all the interesting strategy projects that I did and really collect uh, the 10 skills needed for you to become a good management consultant and watch till the end if you want to know my favorite uh, skill to become a good management consultant and let me know in the comment section if you have one particular question on any of these skills if a lot of you would want to perhaps request for a few skills then happy to make another video on this as a sequel to this with that let's get started so point number one is definitely about ability to think of next steps and ability to forecast future and anticipate what is going to come in the future. So in management consulting, technically, whenever you end a document, you just do not end with the recommendations. You also tell them what are the next steps for us and what are the next steps potentially for you. That means that a management consultant is not just solving for the present. He or she is always thinking what is the future or what are the bottlenecks in the future or what is it that we are going to do after this. That means that in a world when everyone in the client organization is just thinking and solving for the present because as management consultants you work with the CEOs and you work with the CXOs and CEOs typically are visionary people. They are not just solving for today they are also solving for the future and that's why your communication style comes uh, synchronous to them when you propose next steps after every meeting with them. So that's number one skill for you to become a good management consultant and you need to exhibit it also in your case interviews after your interview uh, case interview is done whenever you have given a recommendation you should have a next step section as well that these are further analysis that we can potentially look into to actually have a much more polished answer. So that's number one. Number two is your ability to structure messy things. The thing is most of the clients are so messy and rightfully so because they are dealing with operations, they are dealing with marketing, they are dealing with business as is that they are very poor at structuring or building blocks, neat and clean blocks to a lot of messy and chaotic situations. And that is why management consultants bring a lot more clean structures to an ad hoc to a chaotic situation. In fact, trust me, it is the biggest one of the biggest value propositions that management consultants bring to a client's organization, which is of structuring things. If there are 20 pointers or if there are 30 ideas, you kind of bring a neat structure of three building blocks and putting all the 30, 50 and 100 ideas beneath them. So that's the second good skill of your ability to structure ideas uh, which is needed to become a good management consultant. The third one is anticipating client expectations and being aligned with the client expectations. So a good management consultant uh, will not sway a lot more from what the client really expects. And this is a classic rookie consulting mistake or a consultant's mistake. For example, if you are given a profits problem, that means that you have to solve for revenue and cost both. But for example, if you are given just a revenue problem, which is that you have to increase the top line for an organization, you should not waste your time figuring out how to reduce the cost for the organization because guess what? The client is not looking for you to reduce cost. The, all the client wants is to increase the revenue line. So making sure that you are aligned with the client's expectation, making sure that you can actually anticipate also somewhere what the client is looking from you is a very good skill needed for you to become a management consultant. And let's also take a step back. Why are we discussing all of these things? When you sit for McKinsey, BCG, Carney, Bain consulting interviews, in some shape or the other, the partner is always looking, are you consulting ready? Can we put you in a client friendly role on day one or can you professionally maturely showcase yourself as a consultant? So that is why it's uh, the third important skill for you to uh, become a good management consultant. I will have to peep into my notes because it's a long list, which brings us towards the fourth uh, skill, which is analytical skills. So. 
in management consulting you are not just building random arguments or you're not just building opinions based on nothing you're not speaking from the seat of your pants you have very good data and the data is not just single sourced you find five and six sources you make sure the final answer is getting triangulated triangulated means that if you did three analysis all three analyses are coming to one single answer. That means that you need to have a very strong analytical rigor in your approach for you to become a good management consultant. Management consultants are not just good communicators, they are very good with analytical skills as well. Which brings us towards the fifth good skill of a management consultant, which is your ability to synthesize. Because you're dealing with so much information, so much data, so much stakeholders. And at the end of the day, you are required to talk to the CXO or a CEO. So for example, in my first BCG case, I was actually sitting in boardroom meetings and giving presentations as well. That means that when you're dealing with chairmen and CXOs, they are less on time. Your ability to really filter down the key ideas that a CXO and a CEO really cares about is going to be pivotal for you to become a good management consulting and interestingly get your foot inside the door as well. With that, once again, I'm peeping into my notes, which is uh, very much important about managing people. Management consulting is actually a people's business. That means that you're dealing with the clerk of a client organization, you're dealing with the CXO of the organization, you're dealing with the CEO of the organization. On your consulting end, you're dealing with the partners, you're dealing with the HR and the staffing team members, you're dealing with your colleagues as well who are consultants. That means that you have to make sure that you are someone who is good with people. Uh, hate it or you love it, but management consulting is all about people dealing. You cannot afford to have a chip on your shoulder and expect to be a good team member player. If you are really someone who has a very high IQ, but you're not with good with team members, then perhaps you could become a scientist or you could actually try private equity or banking, investment banking, because the culture of team is relatively less there. But in consulting, you have no choice but to be able to gel well with the team. And that's why for you to become a good management consultant, you need to be good with people. With that, we come to the seventh, which is fifth, sixth, seventh skill of a good management consultant, which is business awareness. You cannot afford to get into strategy consulting and management consulting and not just get but survive it without knowing the business jargons of the industry. What is a business model? How do you build sustainable, sustainable business model? What are the components of revenue? How do you go about building a go-to-market strategy? What are the components of cost so on and so forth? So you need to be able to at least be familiar with the basics of the business. We are not talking about having an MBA. Many a times people have this false misnormal and a lot of you have asked me this question. Shatakshi, can we get into management consulting just after ha having an MBA? That's wrong. I did my chemistry from St. Stephen's College and my first job was into boutique management consulting. You need to know the basics and a lot of basics are out there with free YouTube channels like mine and many others um, on internet as well. But of course, you will have to do your homework. Nobody unfortunately can spoon feed you that, hey, this, these are the entire laundry list and you need to go through it which brings us towards the eighth uh, uh, skill which is time management as a management consultant you are multitasking so much which is that you are taking care of the partner on the team you are aligning with the with the answer with the partner you are taking time from the cxo you are also flying in uh, every thursday night so that the fridays are spent in office you are actually taking out time for yourself as well and most of the good management consultants are not just looking out for their case they are also actually taking a lot of time for their intellectual reading and their intellectual learning as well that means that time management becomes the key skill for you to become a good management consultant otherwise there's a very high probability that you are going to burn out very often uh, not just with the job but overall in life which makes us talk about the ninth and the second last important skill for you to become a good management consultant which is problem solving now what is problem solving problem solving is not that i give you a problem statement that hey why don't you in increase the tax to GDP ratio in this country. I know that a lot of you are preparing for civil services, so you'll just quickly start writing the 10 ideas. In management consulting, you get to the root cause of the problem, which many a times, interestingly, has nothing to do with the symptom of the problem, which many a times may not be even have to do anything with GDP or tax. The root cause of the problem will be just sitting in somewhere else. And once you find the root cause of the problem, 
then you figure out a creative solution or a benchmark solution to solve that problem so problem solving is your ability to filter down in a chaotic situation what the real root cause of the problem is which is data backed and research backed and then your ability to find solutions to it which to my mind is one of the biggest uh, value addition by a management consultant and in fact the bread and butter which uh, with that we move towards the last i can't believe that we have reached till the end thank you so much for being patient with me that i had to peep into my laptop notes time and again but i wanted to make sure that i teach you everything that i know on my youtube channel absolutely free of cost which is taking care of your well-being that is the last skill for you to become a good management consultant management consultant is a very hectic job i had made a separate video the salaries and hours we'll put a screenshot somewhere here the hours are not for people who are weak on their hearts you put in a lot of hours i was putting in 70 hours per week on one of my client cases i was putting in 60 65 hours per week on other client cases that means that you have to groom yourself well uh, while looking out for the work you cannot just afford to shabbily just go to a client office you need to make sure that you're getting your good beauty sleep over the weekends and many other days as well so taking care of yourself while working on intellectual strategically important problem for the client is to my mind the most and the last uh, skill in the order of uh, uh, to for you to become a good management consultant and i've always said that i am on a chai break and uh, feel free to do cheers with me on chai and if you need more help to become a good management consultant feel free to check out my education venture globalgovernanceinitiative.org and if you like this video feel free to hit on the like button and share it with your friends so that they get to know about all the cool and free information that i am bringing out for all of you on my youtube channel with that i'll see you soon ciao